show with your favorite TV girl, Betty Buse. And like you all guys know, on the Hotspot Show, we give you the best of entertainment where you get to feel relaxed, comfortable while in your house. And then we give you everything that you need to know on Free Talk TV. But before we go, I have a special guest with me here with me but i'm not going to let the cat out of the bag let's quickly go for the short break and we'll be right back don't go nowhere stay new to freedom tv E esperamos que essa reconexão do povo iorubano, mas também brasileiro, seja permanente. We expect that this connection with Nigeria and Brazil, the povo, the people of the Yoruba and Brazilians, should be permanent. Eu acho que hoje, essa tarde aqui, a gente viu pelos cânticos que a Yalorixá e Deus Vita fez para nós. E hoje, nós vemos que a música é a música que a gente tem que ver. E faz ver o tamanho dos tentáculos e da força da cultura Yoruba. Mais uma vez agradeço o povo de e é, também a presença da secretária de e a diretora do Museu do Samba e é claro a nossa Yalorixá que é, é uma verdadeira sacerdotisa muito respeitada no nosso país é um prazer recebê-la aqui na Nigéria you're welcome to the hotspot show with that favorite tv girl benny beers like i said before i went for a short break i said i have a guest with me in the studio so right now i am going to be letting the cat out of the bag please meet my amazing and wonderful i think i need to allow him to introduce himself to you guys hi hello a caro right <laughs> <laughs> you just heard that from him for those of us who don't always like to speak our language you just feel speaking our language is something very bad so this is the head of the consulate general for brazil mr elgis bandera mm. and I, I know that foreign names are difficult but it's okay i also have a hard time with nigerian names are you kidding me yes. so just like i asked you before we came on air i asked you if you can pronounce my name properly so you can same well same thing as me too i can actually pronounce your name so we're going to forgive we're, we're, each other yeah we're, we're <laughs> even right <Yes. laughs> so um on a quick one um we met at the um, IFE uh, yes. you know, where you came for the three years coronation and um, I saw how excited you were mm -hmm. at the event. You were so excited and um, everything that was actually happening at the palace on that day, you were really participating on that. And then being a Brazilian and not just a Brazilian but the head council general for the Brazilian, how have you been able to manage uh, the culture? Mm -hmm. um, at, at that moment, the ambassador wasn't here, um, and so he wasn't able to go with us. Mm -hmm. So it was an honor for me to represent Brazil wow. at that event when the ONI was welcoming the Brazilians who uh, have Yoruba heritage and who have lost contact with the source of that culture which is Nigeria of mm -hmm. course and um, it was it was very very interesting for me as a Brazilian uh, to be there to be present at that event and um, I don't know if you remember but the Oni of Ife gave traditional Yoruba names. names. I'm still going to that. That's why I don't want to see us. All right, all right. <laughs> no problem. Please go ahead. So uh, I was very excited. So I think your perception is correct very. that uh, <laughs> uh, as head of uh, uh, the consular section here, it was uh, a pleasure for me to be present there. 
with the Secretary of Culture from Rio de Janeiro and other authorities. Um, I believe the director of the Samba Museum was also mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And um, Dioni was very welcoming. Okay. And uh, I think the whole community of Ileife was very nice to us all. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, I was very, very happy. <laughs> I saw that in you, that you were so excited about the event. And um, I believe there's a connection between the Brazilians and the African culture. We're going to be talking about the Yoruba per se. So I believe there's a connection between the Brazilian and... I think Africa. that us as Brazilians, we identify ourselves as being a third native Brazilian, a third European, and a third African. You know, uh, Brazil is a, a big mix yeah. of different uh, languages, of different cultures, and it's from that mix that we created our own culture, yeah. our own sense of being Brazilian, you know? And I think that the African part of our heritage, of who we are, is also very important. And then that's why you embrace the African culture. There must be something that actually connected the Brazilian with the Ife people. Yes, uh, I think that uh, uh, to this day, um, the Yoruba culture especially is alive in Brazil. Yes. You know, to this day, if you go to Brazil, you can still see Ifa temples. Wow. You can still see that... Uh, People know the Orishas, people worship them, and um, you can also see that there was what they call religious syncretism, that is, uh, yeah. um, African religions mixed with European religions, creating something a bit different. So, uh, people sometimes identify the Orishas as different saints. Mm -hmm. For instance, Yansa would be Saint Barbara, or mm -hmm. Oshun would be Virgin Mary, or Batala would be Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very interesting to see how uh, all of that mixed together, and how uh, uh, I think when it comes to culture, we are very close to Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time as we're also close to other places, you know. Uh, but for example, look at Carnaval. I don't know, we have recently had Carnaval in Brazil. Okay. Um, uh, last, well, I think two Tuesdays ago. Okay. Um, and it's a big party. You see everybody dancing samba and playing the drums. Mm -hmm. And I think it's pretty obvious that we, didn't, we did not learn the drums from the Europeans, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, there's another thing that I actually um, understood between what the Brazilian had actually done. There's just uh, the Brazilians are actually learning, not actually learning, they started studying the Yoruba tradition, the culture, the Yes, I'll say the cultural in the school. Yeah, I think there is a lot of interest in Brazil Great. when it comes to uh, uh, Yoruba language and when it comes to African uh, uh, traditions in general. Mm -hmm. I think people are interested and people want to learn more. And uh, uh, I think it's very important for people here in Nigeria to know that they have a treasure uh, their culture is a treasure you know the fact that you speak mm -hmm. a native language mm -hmm. that's a plus to you exactly uh, I remember that when I first arrived I was talking to I don't know if it's one of our local employees here and I asked oh how many languages do you speak and he told me oh I only speak English and then I said but I heard you speaking uh, 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 Yoruba yeah. and Igbo. He said, oh, but that doesn't count. I'm like, why? <laughs> of course it counts. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's another way of seeing the, word, the world and another way of uh, uh, perceiving reality mm -hmm. that's very rich and mm -hmm. that is valued 
abroad. Exactly. Even though there are some Nigerians that say, oh no, that's no, not, th important. not important. I think it's very important, very important to, to learn, to mm -hmm. teach your children. Exactly. And uh, uh, because, well, if you go to Brazil and you speak Yoruba, you can even teach it, exactly. as you said, because uh, that is being valued uh, now. Um, mm -hmm. And it was recognized as part of our heritage, mm -hmm. too, as part of our... Uh, um, of what identifies us as Brazilians. Okay. Um, in terms of the teaching in Brazil, how effective has it been? Has it been something that's very easy? Has it been something that's been um, very difficult for the people of Brazilian to go to the school? Oh, to it, learn? It, it's not mandatory to learn Yoruba. And I still feel that it's very difficult to find teachers and uh, people who really know how to speak it and who can uh, 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 work <laughs> more uh, on that. I, I think I should come along and maybe you just tell the people over there that you have someone who can come teach the people. Oh, sure, sure, sure. All right, guys, I will steal her from you. She'll come to Brazil and teach us more teach Yoruba. Us, teach all right? Us here, so just stay glib. I don't know if they will let me, eh? Of course they will. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's just that the people, uh, you don't get people who can speak the language to come teach the people of Brazil. And another thing is this do the Brazilian actually have this interest to come learn or want to learn the language? I think so. I think so. Um, of course, uh, you have to understand that uh, uh, us in Brazil, we speak Portuguese. Okay. Okay. Um, there are some other languages in the country, but they're very um, restricted to uh, 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 some different areas. Like we still have a very small native Brazilian population. We also have some other immigrants in different areas that have preserved their language. But, uh, of course, when people go to school, they want to learn English. Exactly. And uh, I think it's very important to learn English in order to communicate with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. We also have Spanish, which is the language of our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Brazil is the only exactly. Portuguese-speaking mm -hmm. country in the Americas. Exactly. And uh, here in Africa, you also have Guinea-Bissau, mm -hmm. Angola, Cape Verde, Mozambique. But over there in, uh, in the American continent, we only have Brazil. Um, and uh, uh, so I think that, of course, the first language that people want to learn, it, besides Portuguese, is English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, as you uh, deepen well, your knowledge you uh, to to and learn to learn more, more mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, Yoruba is one of them. And especially the people that uh, have mm -hmm. some uh, African blood and okay. uh, who uh, the people who follow the Ifa tradition mm -hmm. in Brazil, mm -hmm. of course, for them, uh, uh, it's very uh, uh, rewarding to learn Yoruba mm -hmm. because they continue to speak and sing in Yoruba to this day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't even understand exactly. Uh, exactly what they are singing. You know, like uh, uh, the Catholics in the past, yeah. when they used to say the Mass in Latin, yeah. and they didn't understand very well they what... They just speak and then they respond back. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So uh, I think that for these people, it's been a very rewarding experience to learn uh, Yoruba. I think called Ifa, they feel it is not... Um, a good thing you just want to worship something that is not actually God it's just an image so how effective is that because oh no it's very big in Brazil in Brazil wow. uh, we have the the Ifa influence in different religions mm -hmm. and of course some of them are closer to Ifa mm -hmm. some of them have uh, mixed mm -hmm. with uh, local traditions or uh, we have Candomblé we have Umbanda and uh, uh, we have other denominations mm -hmm. also that uh, uh, drink from that source, mm -hmm. you know. But the Orishas are very well known mm -hmm. in Brazil. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think very few people 
will not know that uh, the Brazilian actually yeah, have that, a connection and believe in that. Yeah, tradition. I think that uh, very few people will not know that Iemanjá is the goddess of the sea, mm -hmm. or that Oshun is the the goddess of uh, sweet water of the mm -hmm. rivers. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it's very uh, it's very popular, mm -hmm. especially in the states of Bahia and Rio de Janeiro. Okay. And uh, we were there with uh, the Oni of Ife, yeah. and you know that in his last trip uh, to Brazil, he declared Salvador the capital, the Yoruba capital of the Americas. Mm -hmm. I, I think he said that at the palace last time. Yes, yeah. yes. A and uh, I think that the state of Bahia, where Salvador is, that uh, has received a lot mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Yoruba influence. And over there, you can still see that uh, the the Ifa tradition is alive and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final question is this. Um, a lot of Nigerian people who want to actually come to Brazil um, have been opportune to have a conversation with some people who actually read Yoruba language from the school actually graduated from the finished reading Yoruba course and they, they keep asking them what do you want to do after this because you're studying Yoruba and that's not a good cause we have lawyers we have bankers we have amazing courses that you can study and then why are you doing Yoruba what do you want to do with Yoruba at the end of the day so for people like that who have actually took their time four years in school and then actually went to go study that language and now they want to move to Brazil because they believe and they know the major research that Brazilians do, they've, they embrace rather the Yoruba language culture and its heritage. Now they want to go to Brazil. How would they get the necessary papers, documents to make things easy for them? Because someone said he, he tried and then he was bounced back. Mm -hmm. So since you're the head of... of consular section of course um, so I think that the first thing that people need to know is uh, they need to understand or they need to come here with what's the objective of their trip okay. if they're going for a short trip just to visit or they're going to participate in a seminar or if they're going to study for a short period of time less than three months, mm -hmm. they can apply for a visitor's visa, all right? Mm -hmm. If they're going for more time, then they have to apply for a temporary visa, and we have different temporary visas. We have a work visa, which is the temporary visa 5, and for a work visa, it's the company that hires you in Brazil that does all the process. Okay. The person just comes here, with their uh, uh, approval letters and all. Yeah, with their passport mm -hmm. and their online form filled out, and we print their visas. And then we also have the student okay. visas, of course. Some of these students, some of these people who uh, study Yoruba here, they do their graduation here, and then yeah. maybe they want to do a master's mm -hmm. or a doctorate in linguistics or in teaching in Brazil, they're welcome to do that. We offer scholarships uh, every year uh, for uh, uh, graduation courses, for masters and for doctorates. So uh, uh, if any of the people uh, watching us now are interested in going to Brazil to study there, they're welcome to do that. And um, every year we have more scholarships than candidates. Yeah, so uh, uh, you're, you're, you're welcome to uh, come to Brazil and to study or work or visit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a question of filling out the proper paperwork and uh, okay. presenting yourself depending on... Uh, uh, the documents that you present, you might be called for an interview. Mm -hmm. You come here, you tell us the truth. If you are an honest, hard-working person, mm -hmm. and if your intentions are sincere, we want you to go visit Brazil. Of course, uh, um, if the person does not have good intentions, 
I think you don't even want them here in Nigeria, right? And we don't want them in Brazil either. <laughs> very well then. Thank you so very much for giving us your time to come have this with you. Thank you so much. And before we go, you have to speak that you're about because you've been talking about the fa and the likes of it. There's some things I can't even pronounce properly. There's some things I don't even know. But I just learned that from you today. So we're going to be telling our viewers what good morning is, what Orisha is. Just give us a few Yorubas, the things you understand in Yoruba. You don't have to translate to English. Just tell us. Very sure you have a Yoruba name. Well, I, I haven't been given an, a Yoruba name yet. So what Yoruba but, name do you intend to have? Uh, I, I think I need to talk to the Oni a little bit more. Uh, uh, so you can have one. Pro promote Yoruba culture a little bit more in Brazil. <laughs> and then maybe he will award me uh, with the honor of having a Yoruba a Yoruba. name as well. And I also need to improve oh, my Yoruba. Yorubas. Because unfortunately... Uh, I only know the basics, you so know. We e, need to hear e, the basics. Ekaro, mm -hmm. Ekurole, uh, Orukomini, Elges Bandera, ba Bawani. Uh, <laughs> I know how to answer that, okay. right? Uh, Dada, okay. uh, Iwonko. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a wonderful time on the Hotspot Show with the head of Consul General for Brazil. It's been an amazing time with him and I don't want to go home. I just feel like... Now come here and I'll take <laughs> you to Brazil. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to Brazil and I'll be talking to you guys all the way from Brazil. Alright guys, bye. Stick around and stay glued to Frito TV. I'll see you same time, same station which is the Frito TV. Guys, I love you guys and don't drink and drive. Happy weekend. Hi guys, I remain Ben Bills.